follow the light that brings you back to me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jadana and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, stop looking, stop, don't stop. <laughs> but yeah guys, long story short, it's been a journey. It's a bit inappropriate, do you know what I mean? It's been a long month. I'm not even gonna apologize for how long I've been off. I'm sorry. I feel like I've neglected you guys. Not even I feel like I have neglected you guys. I'm gonna start apologizing in every single video and I really don't think we've got the patience for that. It's a bad habit I keep doing. Your girl's just come out of surgery. Okay, I've not just come out. I'm approximately six weeks post-op. I'm going to give you guys the facts, the tips, the advice. And I'm going to be telling you who my doctor was, where I got it done, how much it was, the healing process, the pain from one to ten. If I forget and you guys have any questions, just comment it down below and I will reply to every single comment. I'm just going to tell you guys about my experience. My experience. Not Sally's and not Sandra's. Jadana's. Do you get it? I mean, you'd probably think these T them are real. Don't lie. Quick disclaimer. I looked homeless. Homeless in this surgery video. I don't really know what the hell I was going through because I wasn't really going through much. It's like I forgot I was recording this vlog for you guys. Mm -mm. This ain't even me, me. You know, I could do better than this. I have wrote notes down, but I don't know if it's what you guys really want to know. Do you get it? I've seen the videos when they're like, I'm not trying to promote surgery and this. Listen, do what the hell you want. Personally, personally, best decision I've made in my entire life. The confidence is up here. Like, it's peak. <laughs> it's peak. Let me just slow down. The first question is, why did I get it done? I briefly touched on this question in my last video, but I'ma touch on it again. When I was younger, year seven to year 10, your girl was an athlete. And I'm not talking about, I used to be an athlete and man got injured. So man could continue with the, nah. I used to be an athlete, then exams really happened. The exams took over. So after GCSEs, I said, what's the point of me going back? I still got the physique, the broad shoulders. Let me not even flex for them too tough because I don't want anyone to be scared. Even the belly, like everything's kind of set, like calm down. That kind of stunted growth in my height and my breasts. It stunted, but the breasts are gone, stunted. I just wanted a little bit more. I had like a year eight chest for about half my life. Now it's cute and I will be adding my before and afters. trying to say that she's trying to say that people with smaller chests are man them you're trying to say that you're trying to say that people with smaller chests are like man them when did i say that though anyway it reached the point where i used to wear my mum's bra there was one bra one red bra in particular that no longer fit her i grabbed it wore it it broke after a while i don't know what the hell broke it because there was no weight there was nothing pushing against the walls of the but I wore this to school one time and the boost of confidence I got, it, it was so big that I couldn't even, I couldn't even button up my shirt. Even on holiday, and you guys know I fly out quite a lot, I did not like the air I was feeling on my chest. It was baggy and saggy when I wore a bikini and shit. A lot of tops that the old chested me couldn't wear. 
because nothing was there. But let me know if you think my boobs look fake or if they look natural. To be honest, I really don't give a fuck. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just asking, you know, I just want to know. What are you thinking? Let's get a little bit into the vlog because um, I didn't really vlog as much as I meant to because guys, I was literally done at it. But on the morning of surgery, we got picked up. I didn't want my mom to drive. She'll be panicking. She probably won't even be focusing on the road. She'll be focusing on me. She'll be focusing on me. That's the thing, I just needed everyone to calm down. She was my plus one in this situation. And we made our way to New Victoria Hospital. So yeah, enjoy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 Feeling. Follow the lights that brings you back to me. If you need the nurse attention at all time, pull back this behind you. Around here, have a cup Beautiful. of tea, a cup of coffee. It's, it's, it's really nice. The white gown goes on first, okay. arms in first, ties at the back. Dressing gown to keep you covered. Okay. Underwear and socks, blanket just in case you get chilly. Okay, thank all right. you. Yeah. Okay, Uni's got cover hangers and hooks. And obviously if mum's here, don't need to lock anything away because you've got your locker. But if you do leave at any time, you're more than welcome to go out and get some fresh air. Anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. Your very last thing that we'll need to do, small urine sample, my darling. Once you're dressed and changed, the girls will come and admit you. Say bye-bye. Stop here. <laughs> Stop looking. Puff, puff. I'm actually good at this puff, puff. I'm not. I need to take the ear of insulin. Yeah, that's it. Look, mom, you're so nosy. What's this? Is this you in? How yellow it is. It's not that yellow. So you can see that you should be drinking water. So is your water. urine clear? If you drink right. water. Do you want your bum bum? Huh? You're gonna see everything. Yeah, what? Can you stop? I'm wearing pants anyway. It's gonna be yakata. <laughs> when I come out, it's gonna be out here. Oh. Don't be scared when you see me, I'm just warning you. It's gonna be very swollen. You're gonna be shocked. Do you be able to breathe, Sha? We don't know, apparently, it's like elephant standing on your chest. Okay, we'll go cut it, cut it. Okay, we'll have a lot of And while you wait, this is the menu. You will have food after the procedure. The surgeon came and marked me up. The next clip is me coming back from surgery and I can't lie, my mum actually tried her best to record. And then this is what you guys see. Am I doing it right? Nope. Oh, face Hi. Me. How are face you? Face me. Oh, sorry. Face oh. me. Um, ciao. Anyway, so. I can see you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Hi. All the best. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, you got boobs. The last thing I can remember was three pumps. Then my hand started burning. It was a hot sensation. Like Donnie even said, I can't lie, it's going to burn. Like, it's really going to be hot. I was even like, I was really confused. Like I really thought something went wrong. Next thing you know, guys, I promise you, I do not remember a damn thing. Knocked out. Guys, you know how scary that is? When I woke up, after surgery, the first thing I said, not even where's my mum, the first thing I said is, what size? I couldn't even speak, I said, what size? My throat was hurting a little bit because obviously they have to put a tube down your neck back. They said 350, I just closed my eyes. Really? Hello, 350. I don't remember anything. No, you'll be counting one to 10 and then you're gone. <laughs> Say something to daddy and your mum. What babes? <sighs> Guys, I got boobs. Oh my god. You can see them. Yeah. Hey, of course. <laughs> Your dust. You're right. Did you drink water for your throat? Oh my god. We actually thank god. How'd you feel? Surgery. Ate something. Was it? No. I think I was there for two hours. I feel heavy here. I just can't stretch too much. And you were fully put to sleep. So what happened? You basically I knocked the f out. 
I don't remember anything. No, 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 no. I was so confused, and the woman was like, it's done. I said, what? I looked down. Well, she she got boobs. I can't even laugh. You know, I'll be laughing right now. I think they're gonna look great. It's peak. <laughs> I will share myself for the urine test. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? What would, be, what would have been there? Why are you just saying this? <laughs> Nothing. Mama can't laugh, stop. I just remember waking up. <laughs> I can't believe this, Susanna. I look terrible, but do you know what? No, you actually look nice. Liar! Is your mum there? Hello. How are you? <laughs> Good, thing. And I was like, oh my god, Susanna's in surgery already. Oh, that's so lit. Do you want some biscuits? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, biscuits. Um, I've got a drip on me. Your girl's got tips. Let the blood circulate well. Believe it, believe it. Don't let it pump your room. I feel great. I've had my big job. I want McDonald's. The bag buy it, yes. That's the one that's doing you, McDonald's. Woken up since 4 30. My friend also. <laughs> my throat is finished. I don't know why. Yeah, you, you can't see my fanny, can you? I'm hoping I can too. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. So I did my surgery with Maya Cosmetics. They are located in London, obviously. My pre-op, I went to go try on the implant sizes. It was between 325 cc, 350 cc. I know you guys are gonna have to do your research on your own for that. But my surgeon made sure to order two sizes, 325, 350, because I could not make up my mind. But because I did under the muscle, I'm giving you guys all the tea here and apparently when the implant is under the muscle it automatically loses like 25 cc from the original implant right now these are probably looking like 325 cc even though they're 350 because i did under the muscle because over time the boobs will drop fluff become more natural i just wanted to go for the bigger size in case i was dissatisfied with the smaller size over some time in the vlog in case anyone asks why i was wearing my bonnet they said that no extensions are allowed to be worn no metal is allowed to be you know like hair bands metal bubbles the easiest option would be to go wigless so your girl went wigless and life went smoothly i'd be wearing bonnet for me to even stick on this wig today to record this video was very hard because i said where am i going i'm not going anywhere like i'm john giannis i'm uh I have a plastic surgeon here. So we just did this breast augmentation today. Everything went very well. And she feels very well and comfortable. Hopefully in a couple of hours we'll get her home. Okay. Thank you, Thank you. God bless. <laughs> How does it feel to have this? It feels good. It's new to me. So I have to go brush up it now. The only reason I chose him was because I think he had the most qualifications. So many things can go wrong with a boob job. He was telling me straight up, listen, you could get a keloid. He wasn't trying to scare me, but he was telling me the honest truth. He didn't even push a bigger size on me. Donny weren't even trying to make me look like a page three girl. I hear it. I said I wanted to go for 350cc. He now said, I can't lie. That's the biggest size that I say you should go. He was best known for the way he does incisions, especially on like... Of color he does it very small and they are near enough invisible you can ask to see what your doctor has done on others so i made sure to oh yeah i need to see what's going on next question how painful was it and does it feel weird the first day of surgery was a bad at all because i was drugged up never thought i'd say that it felt tight here I can't lie when you first get your boobs on it's not going to be soft like this so i can move it now before <laughs> before Medusa stoned that shit, bitch. You do need to stay on the meds, otherwise that pain will creep in. You don't wanna go through that pain. On a scale of one to 10, for the first week, I would say my pain was a solid 
seven to eight. That first week after surgery, you can't do things by yourself. You don't realize how much you use your chest muscles, guys, even to pick up remotes. I felt paralyzed, I did. If I accidentally go down on my bed like this, I'm stuck like this, but uh, And if you try and get up by yourself, you have to use your core muscles. If you get this surgery and people are in the house, tell them to keep their doors open in case you need to call them because it's also hard to shout. There was times where I couldn't reach my phone. There was one time no one could hear me. I, swear. I said, yeah, I've been left for dead. That's it, I'm done, I'm done. When you twist and you turn, you feel it. When you shit, you feel it. Do you know what I mean? Like that codeine that they give you will constipate you. You will be constipated for the first few weeks in the terms and conditions. The reason why it was also uncomfortable is because I had to sleep upright. I wasn't allowed to lie on my side, lie on my front, literally like sitting on the chair and sleeping. That is very uncomfortable. But at first they're really high up here. They drop to like round here. They round out. Your boobs will be very pointy. They were just if My nurse actually told me I healed I'm like one of the best she's seen. I took time to proper heal. You know, I took some time off to rest and now it's game time, bitches. But it actually takes six months to a year for your boobs to fully be in its final form. So my boobs probably aren't in its final form. They probably still need to drop, be more, you know what I mean? I like the way they look now though, personally, but I've still got some time to, to see. The next question is the cost of surgery. How much did my surgery cost? My surgery initially cost £6,095. This video is not sponsored, you get it? Man paid full price. I'm just letting you guys know. This payment basically included the surgery fee, the consultation fee, food, private hospital care. Well, my mum paid a deposit of £750. That was just to hold my slot. And then we had five days to pay £5,345. Five days, by the way. And the reason it was five days is because I chose a very early slot for my surgery. Like, I just wanted to quickly do my surgery. Like, quick, 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 let's do it in a few weeks. They said, yep, yeah, you gotta pay everything in full. So just save up £7,000. Some uh, ice packs when you get when home. I get home. So do I just keep this on every day or can I yes. adjust this? Yeah, yeah. This one you keep it keep for it two, on. three weeks. Tomorrow you can remove the sticky stuff here. It becomes itchy on the skin oh. and irritates. Just remove that sticky stuff. You leave the dressing underneath till you see the nurse in the clinic. Okay? okay. And then you put that. It is important. This one is quite important. For two to three weeks, I would Tight, say. Yeah. Tight. It needs to be like that. So to it'll be pressing it down. Yes, it's, it's on the muscle there and you need to press it. Okay. okay. Because the muscle, every time you tighten, it just pushes it up. You only remove them if there's a problem. What kind of problem? The problem is what we said. Capture, capture contraction. contraction. Gel bleed or, um, you know. Otherwise, you don't need to remove them. Okay. It's not like every 10 years you need to remove them. Oh, okay, okay. Now I can rest. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, wash your coat. Hello, I need to go to the gym now. When we The cup size that I used to be, 32 A, B, I don't even know if I was a cup size, I'm just saying it. I genuinely never used to wear a bra, Jesus. <laughs> Did having boob surgery make you want to enhance any other parts on your body, for example, your bum, etc.? Right, um, no, okay, because as much as it would be nice to have a bigger bum, I can go to the gym for that. I couldn't go to the gym for these unless I wanted bigger pecs, which I've been had, been had. Oh, once you start going under the knife, you can't stop. Sorry, first of all, in this African household, 
there's boundaries that you do not want to push okay one punch and i'll forget what surgery ever meant what was that i basically answered your question but i'm gonna go in detail and tell you guys what implants i got so i got round 350 cc mativa silicon implants round implants literally give you the cleavage that you want teardrop are a lot more natural that was what my boobs were before but i wanted the cleavage that you don't need to actually push up in a bra like with teardrop you can possibly still get cleavage if you push it up in a bra i don't want to go through that so that's why i chose round versus teardrop and i feel like i'm missing so much information there's over the muscle there's under the muscle and then there's dual plane which is in between both dual plane is more so under the muscle like half of the implant is under the muscle and the rest at the bottom is just out so that's what i got the reason why i chose silicon is basically like a gummy bear so when you bite into a gummy bear it's still like the 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 glue it doesn't spill out it doesn't do you know what i mean it doesn't deflate or nothing you bite the head off and it's still intact with saline it's basically like a water balloon it's not harmful to the body if it does explode but your boob deflates i don't want to have a deflated boob and one one chest up here like <laughs> that's gonna be a problem you know that there's a problem which is better but even if the silicon rip, it's not spilling into your body, so it's not harmful either way. So I chose silicon, correct me if I'm wrong, but do your own research. Based on my research, that's what I found. There's smooth versus texture, and I got texture. I basically feel like I chose the best possible option for me. Make it Are quick. You yeah. <laughs> what do you want? Make it quick, innit? I'm on my last bit, so yeah. Because ah, I won't edit this out. Walk then, walk, walk, walk. Because I can scrap you right now, it ain't an issue. Because all this talk, you're going to get gut. Like. Can you get my Pepsi in the fridge? Thanks. So. Um, Sorry, are you asking me questions as I'm trying to record? No, it's not. It's fine. Before I got rudely interrupted. So there is something also called high profile, moderate, low profile. I went for high profile and high profile doesn't mean how high your boobs are. It means how they project outwards. If I chose moderate, then they'll be flatter. If I chose low, then they'll be literally non-existent to be honest. There's really no point getting a boob job if you choose low, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> And another reason why, obviously when you get measured, your surgeon will tell you what is best for you. But I promise you, your surgeon will probably choose moderate to high for anyone. I was stuck between high and moderate. But I chose high because a narrow implant suits my body frame more. And then there's also like ultra high profile, which I just think is excessive for me. Yeah, long story short, the lower the profile, the flatter the boob. Pick your poison, honey. Pick it. I'm trying to make this clear. I don't know if you guys are understanding, but I am speaking English, I promise. I am speaking English. I'm not speaking pigeon, I'm speaking English, all right? If you do have any more questions that you think I haven't answered in detail, I'm going to put extra information in the description box. This is a history lesson. We're learning geomics, geometry right now. Whatever profile, whatever size that I choose for my body might look bigger or smaller on your body. Everyone's result is going to be different. That's why I advise you guys to get measured by your surgeon and to have multiple consultations to make sure you're comfortable before making the final decision. And I know that it's been a while, but I'm happy to say that I've fully recovered and I'm ready to get busy and work. Just stay subscribed. Follow me along this journey. I will be posting content. My next video is definitely a vlog. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.